The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting in for uh, Larry Pesavento's hour. And we're looking at, uh, this is live, so this is the 27th of uh, June, Eastern Time, um, 11.06 a.m. And what we're looking at is the Dow is actually up. 20 points to 31,520 after a huge uh, there's a candle that is called um, technical terms Marabosa candle no wicks huge green candle uh, we've seen them to the downside we've seen them to the upside over the past month uh, and normally what would happen is I would say to subscribers to my opening call I would say what we can expect there are three distinct outcomes in a move like this off a low that was a major low with a doji candle low at 29,653 in the Dow what I would say is, after this kind of candle, we normally anticipate either a doji candle, small, a very small trading range doji candle, and possibly a weak uh, session the following day, or this that day, the day after the Marabosa candle, is a weak a weak session. That's number one. Or, oh, sorry, that's number two. Or. What we're looking at is if this is a takeoff phase, in other words, if this is one of those lows that was made, where, yeah, thank you very much, uh, Rochelle. You, you had said uh, AAII is the American Association of Individual Investors. I had read that there uh, is, what, 70% or something of people are very negative of the market, 30-something uh, percent are, are bullish. Those are numbers that are very, I mean, I, I've given talks to that association here in the Boston area periodically. Um, those are people that, it's a real mix, but there are a lot of people that do a tremendous amount of fundamental uh, analysis and really do their homework in their own way. So they've decided that they are just, um, they've, actually the other aspect is that, I can't remember if it was from the AAII, but uh, from um, other sources that I've read, the amount of money that's been liquidated, in other words, the amount of money that's come out of the market is one of the highest levels. Oh, didn't I just read that? Uh, yep, right over here. Did I read that? Yeah, there it is. Uh, JP Morgan strategist Marco uh, Kolonovic uh, indicated, goes on to say that this week should be could even be a 7% gain this week alone because of the rebalancing. But then he goes on to say, uh, on top of that, the market is in oversold condition. Cash balances are at record levels, and recent market shorting activity reached levels not seen since 2008. You put that all together, and I must say that the bias for me has been to think that this is where, certainly for my subscribers who have taken a lot of money off the table, um, and because I, for six months I've been saying, Build up a huge cash position because when we get buys, they're going to be fantastic buys. This is the first time I've said, let's start to put that money to work other than short-term trading. And the reason I've done that is because I believe there's a cushion. But if you aren't able to get almost the exact low of the turn of whatever you're looking at and have a really nice cushion, then you're it's real tough. For instance, the position that we took, the most we, we have a, a core long position from 2020, uh, 2020 on the 23rd of March. But most importantly, what we're looking at here is um, this, and we had trades long term, short term, uh, you know, different positions of the, the diamonds or the dog, DOG. This last one at uh, 30,100, um, that gives us, uh, in the diamonds, that is, the DIA. That's the vehicle we've been using because that's the only way you can play one to one along the 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 Dow. Um, most importantly, at least gives us a cushion because any pullback here, if it breaks under thirty one thousand, closes under thirty one thousand, this says, you know what, you kind of back to what you saw in all those other rallies. 
But if there is something here that says we get, you remember the three outcomes after the Marboza candle off a low, it says Doji candle with a week following session or a week following session of the, uh, the candle, that's Friday's candle, a week session today. But then it has to move quickly higher. That's the takeoff phase. Otherwise, it's just a, one of those normal, not the low, but a low. And even this is not the, the low. Why? Because if you look at the semiconductor index, look at this. Um, going from 318 double top, the last one was in January, plunges down to 201. I would say 318 down to 201 in a really important sector, the semiconductor. You remember, I love to talk about semis as the, the crude oil of the 21st century and 22nd century, which is the way it is. Uh, semiconductor chips are like the oil was for the entire world economy in the 1900s going to the 2000s. And now we've had a switch from the late 1900s to where we are right now where the semiconductors are in everything just about. So they are as important as crude oil. So with that said, let's look at crude oil. And crude oil is up a dollar seventy to eight hundred nine point thirty one. In the Chapman Way methodology, I'll just do this because we always have new people, and of course, uh, with Tiger Financial News Networks, just always going around the world. We have subscribers from all over the all, all around the world. Um, let me just do this. I love in the Chapman Way methodology to try to find the the lowest, most obvious low bar, and then you start to see higher highs. And I alphabetize them, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's uh, six. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should know that after 30 years. Uh, seven, seven higher peaks, but it's at that seventh peak, peak G, that, other, that, that you might have a name change. But really, the idea is to go from a buy signal to a buy mode. And the buy mode implies that it should make at least four higher peaks to peak D. That's your objective. And then once it's there, you do an analysis to say, are we extending higher? What are we doing? Is this peak D sometimes where you get the deepest decline? It could be just an immediate D. And then right after that, an E, we've got that right here in the crude oil. Peak E at 100, well, it's a continuous contract. I'll give you the price right now. 121.46, still current. And we took a dive down to the 104 level. That's a big move down, but look what we've come from. And now what we're looking at is, Crude oil is in this higher quadrant, this uh, this uh, rectangle formation. It's forming a cup formation, and the cup formation says, in the time frame you're looking at, it should go to, if it has a sharp pullback from the flagpole high, it should go to higher highs and higher lows. And if it starts to do that, you can go peak A, peak B, peak C, and even a D, just under, right on, or just above the previous high. In this case. That 123, and let me see if that's changed, 123.61 high of the week of the 11th of March, um, we went almost there. We went to 121, I believe it was, right? Yep, 121.46. Uh, two points below, two and a half points below, and we pulled back. So this is still current because the nine period moving average of the week is still above the 40 period. Now, what's interesting here, of course, Larry Pesimento never uses any of his moving averages, etc. Yet sometimes we come to the same conclusions used in the tech uh, technical aspects. So this just says crude oil is digesting huge gains. And in that context, it could, uh, it could uh, be between 111.50 and 107 over the next day. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down the line. Time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Hi folks, we're back. Basil Chapman, sitting for Larry Pizzaventos. Our this is live. We're looking at the at gold down eight at twelve eighteen twenty two. So I, I got a question. I I think I'll do this now because it's kind of what I want you to do since uh, I took took the time to be able to do Larry's show. Um, and I want you to go through some of the, the commodities in a much greater detail. So the gold contract, remember in the Chapman Wave, we, the object is to go from a buy signal to a buy mode to get you to at least a D. Well, we got that D in gold uh, right here in the continuous contract at 8. Uh, this is 10 o'clock on the 16th of June. It went above the 200 period moving average, right? Look how important this line is, this 200 period moving average. In fact, let me open it up real wide. Look, look, it's like a, like a, a seesaw, like a sine wave, above and below, above and below, above and below. It just keeps doing that. And then this peak D that was made at uh, on the 16th at 10, whatever it is, uh, at 10 p.m., look what happened. It pulled back sharply, went under, and now that 200 period moving average of 1840 in the 120-minute chart is serious resistance, and we're making a dreaded H pattern right here. It says if there's a close below, what's the dreaded H? You remember, I like to look at three basic patterns. Besides everything else, there are three basic patterns. Straight up, straight down, Cup formation, arch formation. Look, dreaded H, because if it takes out that left side low, you can go a lot lower. Look, there's a little dreaded H right there, and it went a lot lower. There's another big H, and it went lower. And on the other side of the coin is the inverted, uh, the reverse Y. If you take out the left side high, you can go quite a bit higher. So basically what we're looking at is we've gone to a peak D, pulled back, uh, made all these arch patterns that failed, and here's another one. And it just says the MACD is starting to weaken. It's gone. The histogram is just about to go. It's just gone negative in the 120. Stochastic couldn't hold above 80% for more than a couple of bars. And now it's negative at 63%. Unbalanced volume is very oversold, but it can get a lot more oversold. And that just says be careful. Now we're down eight points almost in, in gold. Look at this. Very interesting. Look at, look at the opposite. Opposite, if you don't type it in the right place, it won't be opposite. There it is. Crude oil. We're in leg C. 
We've gone to a little mini peak D there. It's also a Chapman Wave arch formation uh, right there. Look, there's your arch and failed. Took it out, went to a lower low. And now you've got peak A. That's a peak A. And that's a peak A. And they're all above the starting point. So those are all A's. And then what happens is it goes even a lower A than a B. Pulls back until it takes out that B. It's it's B until it goes one one tick above. And then it starts leg C. Here it is. So my target in crude oil is the, uh, if it's 109.29 in the continuous contract, if it can get to 109.60, there's a really good chance it goes to 110.57, the 200 period moving average. And look how it used to be fantastic support till that peak E and then a pull back and then in peak. Uh, then it kept running, running, and it failed. And then the 200 period moving average became strong resistance. And that's, you'll see how it handles that. I suspect it's going to go maybe a little above and then come back down. That's crude oil. Let's look at the um, wheat, dust wheat. Uh, let's see. Failure pattern. Look at this. It just keeps going lower and lower. This is a 120 minute chart. Soybeans. Ah, a little bit of a rally. Peak A, peak B. C and S in leg D, it's but a very, very small peak A, peak C, B, just a very small move to a buy mode. And we'll see if that's able to hold. So this is A, oops, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down, B, C, and we went quickly to a D. Let's see if that's hold. The 1633 level is the 50 period exponential moving average resistance. It's at 1626 right now. It's up 15 points. Uh, that's a continuous uh, soybean contract. Um, only when it gets to 16.59 can I even think about the 200 period moving average of 16.78. So we'll see. And if it if it closes under 1600 at 1600. Yeah, under 1,600 at any point, it's going to make an arch and retest the lows. Let's look at, uh, uh, we're looking at corn, corn, um, very nice candle after an ugly candle earlier on. It's trading at uh, 43, down 7. So this is what I like to do when I got a very big picture, other than the Chapman Wave notations. I love to do this. I draw this in and I say, okay, there's a huge arch formation. Let's go to the most important left side low and see if there's a measured move to the left side to the right side. I'm taking this low right here. I'm going to go all the way in, and I'm going to take it to this particular low right there. Then what I like to do is to say, is there, and look, from this low you've got peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, peak E, and peak F. Peak F is where you've got to be real careful. And so now it's pulled back. So this is green, but I'll change the color in a moment. And here's your left side, right side price time match. Now, what often happens is if it misses it, but it's on its way down, it can take a little longer to extend below. And that's what you've got to monitor. But most importantly, what I like to look at is how is it tested this particular support? So corn tested it once, twice three, four, five times, six times, then had a nice spike, couldn't get to the 200 period moving average, made the dreaded H pattern, took it out. But the rule of thumb with the dreaded H is if you take it out, you've got to quickly rally because if you don't rally, you're going to be retesting the lows. Well, it, it took it out, it rallied up, and now it pulled back sharply, went under it. But the MACD is holding well. The stochastic is higher than it was before. Um, so on a purely technical basis, this says, you know what? Corn trading at 742, down 7 right now. It could, in fact, rally a little bit more. It could try once again, maybe fill the gap, maybe get to the 747 area. So we'll see. Maybe tomorrow it gets to 747 or today. So that's the 120-minute chart. So I just wanted to show you some techniques that we've used. Uh, let me just do this. E-U-R, yeah, USD. This is the euro. Uh, E-U-R, USD. This is the... This is the euro USD dollar currency pair. Um, and what is it doing right now? It's trying to rally some. Oh, it's gone to a leg C. That means the dollar's becoming a little more vulnerable. Look at that leg C. 
Stochastic's only at 46%. If it was at 80%, I'd say, wow, that's fantastic. Right now, this is nice bounce. But let's just look at this for the day for the 120 minute chart. Peak A, peak. Uh, underneath it, a little A right there, B, C, and a D. And then it continues high and it goes, uh, oh, that's a new high. So this is A, B, C. So the euro is actually doing quite well. And where would the target be? The 50-period moving average is 1.065. It's trading right now at 1.061. So we're going to be watching this. Let's see if the dollar is having an inverse impact. DXY, DXY is trading. Oh, yes, it is. Look, there it is. So here's your very big, oh, we'll do this together. Yes, your very big arch formation. Basil Chapman, Sydney for Larry Pesamento's show. I'm hoping that we'll be back. He had a very bad birthday again. And I hope it's getting better. I'll be back in a moment. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So what we're looking at is, if I can just get this right, there we are. Basil Chapman singing for Larry Pesaventa's hour. We're looking at the dollar turning around. The euro, you saw the euro is making this nice leg C to the upside in the daily chart. And here's, this is what I would be drawing. I didn't do it because uh, my, during the break, because there were other questions coming in. So I'm going to go to that high right there. And then I'm going to do a left side, right side price time match. Let's just get this right there. So that says that by, and this is the 120 minute chart, it says by, by later today, is that the 
the, oh, that's the 28th. Uh, at least by tonight or tomorrow, if at 103.79, 103, 103. if 102.80 is taken out as support, that low that was made at the 200 period moving average of 103.42 on the at uh, 3:15 on the 16th, 16th, wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, 10 days ago, um, that will be tested. So this is what we're looking at. So this becomes green right here, left side, right side, price time match. There we are. So we're looking at this as turning into a huge arch formation. It's like a bowl, an upside down bowl, right there. And it just said, and this is it. And my target would be right here using uh, this right there and going all the way to there. It says the moment that it takes out, and that could be within the next, so that'll be 103.63. If it takes out 103.63 in the next um, two hours or so, that's going to be very, that's going to weaken the dollar. And then it can go to that low left side low. Let's look at the EUR USD again. Uh, USD, EUR, USD, Euro currency pair. So that means I need to open this up because this could have, in fact, a bull formation. Yep, there it is, a bull formation. Didn't even think of that. There it is. So that is a lopsided gravy cup, I call it. Ball formation. Oh, look at that quick ABCD and etc. But still, it's pushing away from the 200 period. Look how important the 200 period moving average has been. Now, instead of being a magnet, it's going to become a pro panel because the magnet is good. Stochastic's fabulous at 86%. So I go to the left side and I say, all right, by my left side, the first left side goal would be right there. And where would I go to? I uh, would go to the little tiniest good doji candle that I can right there. And I go to the right side, green. Okay, very simple. No, nothing's fancy with this technique here. And then I go to the left side, low, which will have to be over there to be able to draw the chaff wave inside wedge target resistance line. I'm going to have to take it from here. Okay, and there it is. And it says buy... It's a 120-minute chart. It says by later tonight, maybe early tomorrow morning, a test of this left side high of the at 3 o'clock on the 10th of June of 1.064 is likely if it's able to take out the Chevrolet inside wedge target resistance line of 1.063. And then once it does that, you can start looking at the left side high one step at a time. All right, so we've done a couple of things there. A couple of questions came in. This is to look at Apple because I know Larry loves to look at Apple. Peak A, peak B, peak C, D, E, F. So it's also getting close to the 200 period moving average, which was an incredible resistance area uh, since back in April of this year, back in the 160s. It went to peak A, starts another one, peak A, B, C, D, E. Went to peak E and then failed. And starts a brand new one. And as I said, we're in whatever we're in. A, A, B, C, D, E, F. We're in the F, or it could have been a recycle because within three bars after D, we went to uh, an chapter. Maybe I'll do this slower. Okay. There's your little doji can. A lot of little doji turnarounds. That's what we got in the Dow. That was what gave us the clue that Friday could be, Friday a week ago, could be a low of significance. Uh, this goes A. B, C, D. And the Chapman Wave methodology, something I developed, oh, maybe 30 years ago, is a Chapman Wave instant restart. It says that if after peak D in the buy mode, within three bars, there's another new high, you can give it an alternate count, E slash A. You could, could in fact, get an entirely new buy mode to another leg D. Unbelievable, but what a beautiful technique. So now what have we got? We've got E slash A, so I usually keep the, now I've learned to, over the years, we, we keep the same notation, but once we get to a G, we go G slash C. So that says the 200 period moving average of, of an Apple of 145.67 will be a target, but you've got to get close enough to say, yeah, I would say that if we got to 144.50, that says, whoa, you've got yourself a target of 146.67. So that's 
apple. But in the patterns that I love to look at, this is called the gravy, the lopsided gravy cap. This, in fact, is not. This is an exact left side to right side price time match, and then it started to stall. So you've used up more time than normal, but it does definitely have more a cup formation than a, a lopsided gravy cup. So this is what I would normally do, left side over there to this low uh, right there, right, the doji low. Put in an equal extension to the right. There it is. That green. And look at that. And that just says, using my technique, a particular technique I've developed, uh, chub weight inside wedge target resistance line is here. Make it green. Now, some of this could be automated, but there are just enough refinements that I pick up within a split second that a computer just doesn't, it's just, it's too hard to ask it to do. And that's the reason why it's not automatically notated. I know Steve uh, Steve Rhodes does a fabulous job in the chat wave automation, uh, but there are alternate counts, and I, I like to get the alternate counts. But look at this. That says Apple's rallying quite nicely, but it's still a laggard as far as I'm concerned. And that's just telling me that this is a very select rally, that the big winners that were big winners before are still digesting huge gains, and that includes Apple, because now you've got other leadership. And that, that makes this all very, very important. What is missing in my work for to me for me to say this is the low, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying this is another low, but it's a little bit more than just a low. I think this is one that, and I'm not even going to say it has two weeks or three weeks. I don't know whether it's two or three weeks. I do have an idea, but I'm not going to discuss that because I haven't got, at least I, right now, I don't any, have any confirmation about that. This is just guesses on my part, even if they're educated guesses. But what I am saying is that this has enough, the short selling, and the people that are out the market that are going to be forced to get, they still don't believe this. So if this week is a strong week, then they're going to have to start coming back in. And that just says you've got room to the upside. It could be jagged, but it says you've got room without going back to the downside at this particular point. Not yet. That's all I'm saying, and that's really important. Um, so within that uh, context, a couple of questions came in. Oh, where, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, Yes. So could, could you do uh, the, the, the FANG type stocks in the same way? Well, I just wanted to, I, I could, but I just wanted to do one thing before we go to break. And I wanted to say the volatility index, and this is something that Larry often talks about, the volatility index is up 26 cents at 27.49. It was down sharply on Friday. The fact that it's not in the 26s or 25s or the 200 moving average of 23 and 78, to me, says there are still money is insurance fact. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. A couple of questions came in, uh, and I know a lot of people like to. I mean, I, I do it myself when I'm, I have the chance and I'm able to. I listen to our hosts here at TFNN because everyone has such really terrific um, insight into to, to the various techniques that they've developed over the years. So I, I too like that. And I'm always, if I'm here, I might be trading, I might not be trading, but I'm always notating everything I see in front of me. Millions of charts. Now, I don't know if it's a million yet, but it should easily be close to a million uh, over the, I mean, I've been charting, hand charting, in fact, back in the 70s. So what we're looking at here is the E-mini 10-minute chart has gone to a peak C. You see how I've got these uh, FIB levels put in. I, I, I'm doing my best to keep them here. I usually put them in if I want them at all. Uh, but most of my technique doesn't necessarily need that. I get to the FIB levels via other other areas. So I'm just for now. I'm going to take it away because it's. I feel it's a little messy for me. There it is, clear. So you see how this 200 period moving average. We didn't even need the 200 period moving average in the 120 E mini, the ESU 22, until we made that fantastic low at about uh, one o'clock, uh, right here. Or one o'clock, uh, ten past one, actually on the 23rd of June, and we started to move up, and it went to peak D, pulls back, and you see that one of the techniques I have, you see this green line, look at how it kept you in the trade all the way through to a second peak D, and then a third G slash C, pull back, and then it, and then it went pink just briefly, and it went green again and pink. Why? Because it was stuck in a rectangle. Remember, a rectangle, a rectangle can stay in a um, can you don't have enough money in a rectangle formation because it can try your patience to its nth degree because the moment it looks like it's going to break up it doesn't it goes back into the range the moment it breaks down no it just holds the range and then one day it just suddenly breaks down in this case it went to a very unusual peak d and then i kept the notation here uh peak d E, F, and, and so a brand new one, F slash A, G. This was a little more complex, but the whole fact that it was holding the nine period moving average kept me really positive about this, this is the E mini. And then it goes to finally a D and an E. It pulls back, and that was the uh, at 610 on the 26th. That was last night. So what happened? We went to a peak D at the end of the trading day on the 24th. Whoppy, oh, 150, 100 order was a huge move to the upside. Makes a U-shaped pattern, but you know what I like to do? If you measure that and you measure that vertically, look, the technicals on this E were way weaker than the D. And that's it. just be careful. It doesn't say, hey, now you're going to go into a major. So just be careful. Goes pink and then it goes green again and it goes green, green, green to a peak D, another D, pulls back. And this is very unusual. This one is just my years of experience that I, I didn't have any changes. I didn't put an E slash A or anything. I said, I bet that's an E. And I bet that the stochastic will not last long above 80%. It's going to fail. And that's going to drag the 9 under the 14. So it went to a peak F right there. Let me just give you that bar. 
that is in the 10 minute chart in the e mini right there at 410 on the 27th 410 is last night 410 a.m eastern time and then what happens it goes sideways 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 green pink green pink green pink boom pink and it plummets where to almost the four the 200 period moving average which has been rising and rising and rising and look what happened it failed just to break it and that was a big positive why because the stochastic was not even nearly where it was back at seven o'clock in the morning that was at 10 o'clock this morning and the MACD did pull back and that wasn't the clue the clue was that the on balance volume gave you a nice v-shaped turnaround in the 10 and here we are leg C and we're about within a, a two three minutes away of going above 39 29.75 for leg D in the 10 minute chart so I just wanted to go show you some of the techniques I've done this live showed you this is the five minute chart lopsided cup formation so what I do is I extend that and I just say okay the rule of thumb in a rectangle formation is that if there are higher highs and higher lows after the the, the high that was made you should see a rally to just under, right on or just above the previous high. That would be the high of 9.30 this morning, 9.35, at uh, 39.31.75. And then you could see a pullback. And if a pullback goes halfway into the rectangle formation, that happens to be the 200 period moving average. Be careful because if it goes under that, you could take a bigger time out. In the meantime, what we've got is the S&P is up 10 points again. I mean, this is after the spectacular move. That's what I'm saying. I did not want subscribers to even think of the short side, only the long side, even if it's very select and even if it turns out just to be very short term. I don't think it's going to be very short term. I think there's a little bit more going on than that. So here we go. I call this an E. It hasn't taken out that E. There's an E. That high was, oh, I usually do it visually. This one is within 25 cents. So you went to... Uh, 39, 29, 75. Remember, as long as it's green, you can stay in the long position. This is where you got to be careful. 25, we did go to 51, 50, 75. So that's an F. That says to me, now you got to be a little bit careful. There is an alternate count possibility. Um, F slash B. Uh, but now I just let it tell me because if you're long, this is where I would say, you know what, take a little bit off. And keep your long position and that long term position. Uh, I mean, if you have positions in the E mini on the five minutes, sorry, the two minute chart, if it takes out this level here, I'd get everything out. 39.18, if that's taken out, you want to be completely out. But in the meantime, green is good. So I say, I've got a, I've got a, I've got an alternative count, and that's it. In the, um, let me now go to a couple of other things because I had some questions coming in. Could I look at, where was it, where was it, where, where was it? Oh, yes. Could I look at um, Alta, E-L-T-A, and also could I look at Tesla? So Alta has done really well. This is Alta Beauty Inc. Beauty Products made a peak GCSC in the monthly. I believe it's a C. It should go to a D. I don't know, but we'll see. But there's no other way that I can count this in the weekly chart. In a rectangle formation, in a long, narrow rectangle formation, if eventually it goes to a D, be careful because that D, if it takes out halfway of the of the rectangle, could go all the way to the bottom. That's where you've got to be careful because if it takes out the bottom on a closing basis, that's very negative. I typed this in a while back. I said this is what's called a Chapman wave, unconventional flat base restart, and it should go back to the level that was right there after peak D, and that was at, at 3.55. So I typed in back to 3.50s, no matter where it goes to the upside. Well, it did it twice. It went back here at 336.29. I would say that's back to 350s, 336. And it ran up to a higher high, but it was a peak D. And then it came down and made a lower low. And then it ran up again. So this says, in a rectangle formation, a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. You have to wait for a significant breakout with the technicals. So... Alta is holding very well. It's trading at 405.97, down 4, 4.57. The daily chart has a Chapman wave falling X formation. Does it break out? It's done that once, and it did a two, a one, one to one expansion, and then it stalled, and now it's making a potential cup formation. So make it simple. 
a close above 429.46, the high of the 9th of June, would be really good action. Said so you're probably going to take out that PD and a pullback, even just to uh, 390. Says, uh oh, stalling, stuck in a range. It might be best for Japan. What could I do? I'd hold it for now. Long it will be short. Sharpening be your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. So just uh, real quickly, Tesla made a peak F doji candle high around about the 6th of June and has pulled back very sharply, had a new buy mode in the 120-minute chart to the 200-period moving average that stalled there at a peak D. Um, I just don't see – I think Tesla's going to be a laggard. I think Tesla's got a huge problem. It's, it's – uh, I don't want to get into the reasons why I think it's a problem, but look at the chart formation. It's in a rectangle formation. It's made an arch, made an H pattern, held well, and it's trying for the seconds already at a peak C. Uh, unless Tesla can close on a weekly basis above 487, 492 in that area, I just think it's stuck. A uh, question came in about um, – yes, so – uh, my, my service is the opening call daily newsletter. Uh, we've we had big buy signals on the short term over the last week. Um, we are along the Dow. We are along the QQQ. We are along uh, one of the ETFs that has uh, just been battered, uh, battered and battered in the, in the tech sector. We're also along a particular uh, sector that is just had no favor whatsoever for maybe a year and a half or so. And uh, we got it at um, 
yeah, very low down single digits. I love for my subscribers to have uh, prices in uh, single digits, double digits, triple digits, a mix so that they can, you know, people have different portfolio accounts. Uh, uh, and I prefer it that way. Uh, it just gives everybody a chance. And uh, we'll see what happens because this is going to be a really important week. I, I, I'm I, very positive right here. I'll, I'll change if I, if I have to change. But so far, this is really good action. And all I can say is that it's, it's very selective. Look at the way. I mean, BMY. This is Bristol Myers. Look at this. All-time high. Well, almost an all-time high. Let me just look at the week, the monthly chart. Yep, all-time high. And in a leg, is this an old E or a brand new A? If that's the case... These the pharmaceuticals are going to do very nicely, led by Bristol Myers. So this is very selective. Don't be afraid uh, to to really step in. Uh, you know, we, we we're along IBM. We're along IBM from the 136 area. It's at 143 right now. Why? Because look how it held through this whole turmoil. It's been closer to its yearly yeah high than than the lows. That's a good sign. Hey, have a wonderful uh, rest of the day. I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, Larry will be back tomorrow. Stay tuned. Great programming for the rest of the day. That's a traffic site. Have a great day.